Okay, welcome back to Mr. Turner's art class. Okay, what I have here is basically a, a 3D flower. I figured since it's, you know, still spring, springtime, we got these plants uh, blooming. I wanted to show you how to make this. And I thought uh, it being raised up off the paper would be a little more interesting than just drawing little flowers. This is real simple. The only thing you're going to need, okay, you're going to need some construction paper of some kind. I just chose blue, uh, a blue background so you can easily see it. But you can also, you can put stuff in the background, you know, like a little sunny sky, clouds, stuff like that. So you can use any color construction paper for the flower itself. You will need green. You also need some yellow. Okay. And this is like real simple. Now I went ahead and already took the liberty to cut these, cut these strips. Just to show you how I'm going to do that. And if you want to... They can all be the same size, or some can be shorter. I just chose to make some shorter uh, just because I thought that would be a little more visually interesting. Um, as far as how wide you want to cut the strips, you know, when you start cutting, I would say about as wide as your thumb. You can make them thinner if you want. You can make them, like, really thin, but it's just a little more time-consuming. The thin ones look real pretty, but I would say just you know, for the, your first one, just make it about as wide as your thumb and just cut your little strips. Now, what I suggest doing to actually, you know, really get going is just to go ahead and kind of create your little pattern. Just kind of put them down almost like how you're going to fold them. So I usually form an X and a cross, so I'm going to do like that. So, well, I'm going to form my cross first, and then I'm going to put one right there. Put one right there. Hmm, need some more. And they don't have to be perfect. Let me put one right there. Okay, so I know that's basically what I'm doing. And you could put some in between these. It just depends. Like, I went ahead and made... Made that. Uh, oh, missing one. Need one to go right there. So, got cut one more. These are like, like I said, these are super easy to do. And you can really uh, make any color flower. I just think red right now is just be more visually interesting. So, that's my pattern, right? So, at this point, it's simple. Now, I can put a couple more strands in here. The more strands you have in between these, the better this thing is going to look. But just so you can see it easy, uh, I'm just going to put some glue right there. And then I basically I just start putting them on top of each other. And you don't need a lot. start. So I got my cross now. I'm just going ahead and put the ones on there. It's like an X. You use glue sticks if you use what you got. Okay, what if you don't have construction paper? You don't have the color construction paper. You can do this whole thing with copier paper and if it comes down to it, just take some colors and color your paper. You can still make it then I don't always have all the supplies I need. So it's basically what you're doing. This is the concept here. Okay. Now, all I have to do at this point is connect them. Bend it. Put it on top of each other. Now, the more strands you have, the better this will look. You can also, you can try twisting these. You know, like I said, you can twist them and try to come up with, like, twist them like that, and you can come up with a little pattern. But that's on you how you want to do it. You know, I would experiment because I'm always trying to figure out new ways to do, do stuff. I don't like doing stuff the same way every time. It gets boring.
So this is the basic concept of these. Okay, so we, we basically you see how that's done. Okay, so not hard. Now, all you need is where the yellow comes in. You already see I made a made a cut. You just need a circle, and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle because nothing in nature is perfect. So just cut a piece out. Put that glue in there. So you got that. Now the stem, stem is easy. It's gonna take some green, cut that. Got a little strip. You're not balling it up, but you are crushing it. I'm gonna leave the leave the end a little a little out like that. So. You can twist it a little bit. We want to look, like I said, like a natural stem. I usually don't twist the end up too much, the very end. So there you go. Make it a little bend. So there you go. Raise that up a little bit. I'm going to put some glue on the end. And I'm going to raise that up a little bit and stick that right in there. And then there you go. Now it's still kind of boring. We still got to put the leaves in there. So you're going to take take some paper. And you're going to make a little leaf. Cut out a little leaf. Make it like, cut it out like almost like an eye. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are talking about a leaf. So I'm going to cut out another one. It could be bigger, it could be smaller. So I got my little leaf. Now I'm going to take some glue, put it on the end. And stick it on there. Take some glue, put it on this end. I'm going to offset it a little bit. I'm going to put it like right there. I like offsetting the leaves. That means I like having one sitting a little higher than the other. And then there you go. Okay. So this one is a more simple one than this one. The only reason this one looks this way is because I cut shorter strips and I put them in between here. So you can do that if you want to, or you can just leave it like that. You know, it's just whichever or. These can be any color you want. Okay. Pick the colors you like and create your own flower. And they do not have to look like this. Okay. I mean, we are in Texas. Uh, where I'm shooting this, so there are blue bonnets like everywhere. So if you want to take some uh, dark blue paper, you know, and, uh, and use that, I mean, go right ahead. Or purple, go right ahead. Purple and yellow looks uh, looks really nice. Now, just understand, if you do not have construction paper, I would take copier paper, color it, color the pieces you need, you know, cut crayons, markers, whatever, to get the colors you want, and then just cut them out and do the same exact thing, as long as you have scissors and glue. This can be done. Or you can just use regular copy paper, just have white. White and uh, the little yellow middle. And there you go. You got a white flower with a um, yellow middle. You know, and just color in your green paper or something. So this can be done. I mean, just have fun doing it. It's uh, simple. So I hope you enjoy this. This is a really nice little springtime project. You mean, make a bouquet. You know, you make dip, uh, multiple flowers and make them look like they're in a pot. Or, you know, just have fun with it or give it a background. So I hope you enjoy this project. It's uh, simple, you know. Uh, you know, hit the subscribe button. Let me know. Uh, you know, hit the like button. Let me know if um, you like this or whatnot. And you know, and I will try to create some more uh, more videos. And I hope this helps. You know, while you're just sitting around, you know, just have fun creating your art. You know. All right, y'all take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye.